Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth and today I'm going to be talking you through the brand new Cadence Collection Miles and Miles and we're giving you a little bit of inspiration and hopefully it sparks inspiration in yourself to maybe recreate this project I'm going to be doing today or maybe another different project in the future. So let's get straight into it. So I've picked a scrap bushking project today. So all I've done is got a 12 by 12 um, piece of white card but this could be in your scrapbooking um, like an actual book you can decorate the front cover use different size books but this is just going to be showing you the techniques that we've got today and then I have taken this onto a card as well so using that scrapbooking we've got Polaroids in there I've ripped up pages from books um, I just bought cheap books from charity shops so we could de um, decoupage onto the top of them, rip them, ink them and use all the Cadence projects, uh, products alongside them. So let's get straight into it. So here is a 12x12 card blank and all I've done is this is the beautiful A3 rice paper that we've got in the kit and I've got a wet brush, so just a wet paintbrush and all I've done is just gone round it and taken out the section that I'd like to decoupage onto my card blank today which is this part. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Cadence Decoupage Plus Glue, dip in and then apply it to the card. Now you can either apply it um, to the rice paper and stick it down or to the card, whichever way you feel is best. Or if you want an extra secure adhesion, you can apply it to both and then place it over the top, pressing it into place and then you can see here where we've got this feathered edge, you want to make sure that this is fully stuck down, so going in the way of the fibres of the rice paper, we're just going to drag it down and across. Like so, and then just give it a little seal. This decoupage glue is perfect for all your hard surfaces, it can go outdoors, on your mixed media canvases, so this is glues for your hard surfaces, and then we do a Cadence fabric decoupage glue which goes onto all your fabric surfaces and is fully washable when it's heat set. So this takes a little minute to dry, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to quickly heat it up with a hairdryer. So the next stage is, I've already done half of it here, but I'm wanting to blend up this rice paper. And don't matter, it doesn't matter if you um, can't get that nice blend to go all the way through, we're going to be decoupaging on top. We just want to make sure that the colour of the card is not so stark against the rice paper. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking old lace, so this is the hybrid acrylic and you can either pop this straight onto your project or if you're not as confident we can pop it onto a little paint palette to the side and then we're going to take some white in a second but all I'm going to do is in a buffing motion we're just going to get that colour onto there and then lightly taking off the pressure when we need to blend it into a different colour and then building it up and then taking it up the sides and then as you get over the rice paper we need to take off that pressure a little bit. So lifting up the tension on the brush just so we can get that nice blend to go over. So it gives it that sort of like smoky look. And do the same again. So up around the edge. And now I'm gonna add the white just so we've got a little bit more of that shade in there. So then again, taking it up and over. So you can see how here we've got more of the line here but this pit is more ombre so what we're going to do is we're going to use a stippling motion just so we can hide that line a little bit more and then as you get further into the rice paper we're going to take away the pressure and the amount that we're put, the pressure putting the paint down and then blending it and then I've got some tissues here all I'm going to do is I'm going to take off some of the paint that's on the brush and we can blend that in. So after you use your stipple brushes, make sure that you do pop them into some water, just so they don't dry up. And then I'm just gonna leave that on to dry on the side. So then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take in the Cadence Distress Paste and we're gonna go in. So all I've done is I've started it here, we're gonna go around and buff in all of the edges. And we're going to go into the distress part and then I like to mix it round on my lid um, just so from the previous time when I've used it um, and you don't want to pick up so much product it's already on there so we can just reactivate that with the water and go into it and all we're going to do is lightly buff in the edges so this is going to give it that tea stain look it's going to make it look that old vintagey look and feel 
and exactly the same process again where you want the paint to not look as intense you're going to lift the brush off and just lightly tickle it in and buff it around So with the distress paste, a little does go a long way, so you only need a small section of it to start off with, and then we can build up and then add the intensity of the colour. So I'm just going to go back into my pot, going back into the lid, making sure it's fully mixed into the fibres, and then going back into it again. And we're going to add and build up that colour intensity. You can even drag it through onto the rice papers so it looks like it's aged more in the centre. And where the fibres are coming up from the rice paper, this also gives a lovely bit of texture that we can highlight on there as well. And I think I'm happy with that. Yeah. So the next stage is I'm going to be taking my mixed media ink spray in dark brown. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to not use it like a spray, I'm going to use it as a little pipette thing. So we're just going to take it out and we're just going to tap it all over the book. So this looks like there's been ink spilled, it gives it a vintage look. And we're just gonna tap it all over. And then another top tip. So when I'm doing like um, tea stains, what I like to do is take a wet brush and then the bottom of the um, cadence paint parts, I'll just dip in really carefully because you have got the lid off the ink, is paint the bottom. And this could be any, I could usually use the decoupage glue as well, that's a good size. And all we're going to do is create little ring tea stains. And we can overlap them, build them up. You can even do it onto the rice paper. So this is creating the story. This is um, a scrapbook page from the olden days. Um, someone's had a drink on it. We can even um, go from a higher level and tap some ink on using a bit more water. Just so we're getting that age on there. There we are, and then always make sure you put the lid straight back on. And pop that to one side. So I'm just going to dry this ink off. So on areas where there's a little bit too much water, what you can do is just take a bit of tissue. I'm just going to take off that water. So it gives it that ombre look of different sort of um, intensity of the colours of the drops. So the next stage is to get all the elements stuck down onto the scrapbooking page. So this is the rice paper, it's full of all these snippable elements, we can fussy cut these, we can decoupage them up, stick them onto our scrapbooking page to create that story. So this is all about London and I have actually been to London and I've always been wanting to scrapbook the pictures that I've used so this is the perfect time to do it so I'm going to do it today. So we've taken these out, we've cut them out, we've stuck them onto our cardstock and here are all, they're just some of the elements but the bag was absolutely full of all the bits. Such a lovely rice paper. So this is me in London next to a red telephone box so we're going to create that story. So I've mounted some of these up already onto um, foam tape and um, red liner tape and what I like to do first is to place everything down just so I know I've got the composition right and I'm happy, when I'm happy with it, that's when I'll stick it down. So placing that there. The stickers, I've done them on um, like the, the postcards, uh, not the postcards, the, st the stamps. I've stuck them straight down and then I've used foam tape so we've got that depth and dimension onto there. And another top tip is to make it look even more scrapbooky. I've taken some craft card um, and ripped it up so it looks like a little bit of like washer tape. So it's another element and it just adds a little bit more attention to detail when you're scrapbooking. And we've got an I Love London sentiment on there. And we've got some little stickers. And this one's going to be popped in the middle. So just playing around with the composition. Here we are. I think I'm happy with that. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and take off all the backs of the tapes and stick it into place. So I've just been assembling this and I've noticed that I've got a little bit of a white space so that's not a problem because we've got some stencils that we can pop in here. So we've got this lovely postcard stencil with this script on. So I'm going to be using my distress paste and dipping in, going into the lid and I want a really light brush of this text. So I'm just going to really lightly, not much pressure at all, and not much product on the brush either, going over the script. And I don't want to cover the whole thing, I just want a little bit 
of the stencil. I could maybe take it up here. This would be better to do when you've not put all your elements on, but you've just noticed it after we've done it. So we can just stick it on and no worries. Yep, I think that's enough so it just fills a little bit of that space. And then I have got a really nice stamp as well, actually. So I'm just gonna ink up this stamp and I'm gonna take the script and this little signature bit part here and there's some insects on here as well. There is a little postage stamp on there, which would look really nice. It matches in with the stencil. And taking the script first, I'm just gonna really lightly push on some script. Now you could use a stamping platform for this, but I'm really not too precious on whereabouts the stamp's gonna be going. I don't even mind it going over the um, elements that we've stuck on there as well, just so it adds that little more of a vintage look to it. And then, yeah, I think that should be fine. And then to create this Polaroid, all I did was um, printed the picture off, but instead of cutting it all the way down, I've just trimmed it a little bit off the edge and then gone around it with some inks and then the same technique with the um, bottom of the bottle, but I actually used the top of the mixed media bottle to get the smaller um, little ring stains on there. So then next stage is just to get some foam tape and stick these on. I always tend to stick my, um, oops, a bit of tape under there, a bit of a thread. Um, I always tend to stick my own pictures on last just so I'm happy where they're going to be placed just so if I've got original pictures that I've actually printed off um, professionally I'm not going to ruin where I want to place them and I'm happy where, where they are going to be placed. So I'm just going to place this in the centre and at a little bit of an angle and there we are. So this is a lovely scrapbooking page using the new Cadence collection called Miles and Miles. Um, I'd love to see what you make with this collection, so make sure you show me all your pictures and I hope you have a great time using it like I have. So thank you for watching.